Hi guys, I know that some of you are in a panicky state at the moment you're searching up this video because you have a black screen or like some an error message saying something like this on your boot up screen. But I'm going to be helping out today um, on how to do that and I'm going to be writing you two solutions that can possibly help you with this problem. Before I actually get into the actual solutions, um, I want to make a little disclaimer note here that um, that everyone's problem is different and you know the solutions may, di may work differently for someone else so if one solution is working for you it may not necessarily work for another person so i want you guys to keep that in mind as i explain through these solutions so the first solution that i'm going to do in today's video is ruin all your ram or any nvme ssd cards and so to do this um make sure your pc's like completely powered off and when i mean completely powered off like no power should be running through it all and so if you want to make sure there's no power running through it just un simply unplug your pc after you should it on your pc completely and then after that open your pc and then take out all the ram or any nvme ssd cards if you have any by the way so but i know all of you have ram but some people don't have nvme ssd so just move all those and after that hold the power button for approximately one to two minutes and then after that time is up, then go ahead and put the RAM in and any NVMe, NVMe SSD cards that you may have. And reason why I'm having you do this is because that RAM, RAM sticks and SSDs, like like the NVMe, NVMe one, have like an impact on your boot up sequence. So you probably like accidentally like press a wrong setting on your BIOS menu, which may have caused the boot sequence to not go on correctly. And so as a result, of taking these out and putting them back in, you're basically resetting the hardware and if you did this correctly, um, you should go back to your boot up screen and you know you should no longer see a, a, like a black screen or any other error message saying something like that. So that should be easy fix for you. But if that doesn't work, don't worry. I have a second solution and this works 99% of the time for most people. For the second solution, we'll be doing a hard CMOS reset. And so what this means is that you're basically taking out your C your motherboard battery out from your motherboard and like pl placing it back in, just like with the RAM stick and the NVMe SSD. And so the reason why I said earlier that this will work for m many of you is because that the CMOS battery is like pretty much your activation. It's like the it's like the power to your motherboard. And by taking the battery out and putting it back in, you're basically re resetting the entire motherboard, not just the RAM sticks or the NVMe SSDs like we did in the first solution. And so I encountered the problem like like you guys have like with the black screen stuff so when i did the cmos reset it fixed my problem completely and so i hope it will fix the problem for you and i heard this for many others that when they did the cmos reset it worked well for them completely and so to do the cmos reset all you do is completely shut down your pc down completely and then um like i did with the first solution and then open your pc and look at your cmos battery if you know where it is um i would look up your motherboard manual um if you don't have your manual just look up your model of your motherboard and then look up the menu online um, after you look at your CMOS battery, then go ahead and take out the battery out. Um, there should be like a little pin for most of the motherboard, so let's take it out. And then leave the battery out for like a little while, no more than two minutes or so, but it's, it's your preference, whatever is up to you. And so then after like a little while, just put the ba battery back in the socket and make it sure that the pin is on it. You'll, you'll know when you hear like a small click or it'll, you, it'll be obvious to you when you put it back in the socket. So after you put it back in, um, close your PC up and just reboot it. And then you should no longer be on the black screen and so by and then you should be on your bios menu and so this should work for many of you if not just leave a comment section down, leave a comment for me down below i'll try to help best my ability to help you out so if none of these solutions seem to work for you um contact me to discord and i'll leave that in the description down below um i may not have uh, i'll try the best of my ability to help you out but i might not have an answer to your problem so i'll try the best of my ability like i said and um I hope this video actually helped you know relieve really that stress of like not having that that black screen up. So because I ran into the same exact problem like this one, and it took me forever to figure it out, and like I was so stressed out about it. But I just hope this video helped you guys out a lot. And um, yeah, so be sure to leave a like and subscribe, and it keeps me motivated to making videos like these and helping people out. And so guys, um, thank you so much for watching. Um, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.